Today we have a PS3 backwards compatible board that I bought for 5 euros and it has a yellow light of death so we will try to sort what we can do with it or if it's just a parts board So we are going to take a look at the Syscon. This is the model, COC002. And the Syscon chip is this one here. It is a CXR model. We need to take this in account when we do the connections and use the software to read the faults on the board. So to fault find this uh, board, I will need to use a power supply from another PlayStation and it has to be the same model because this has a 5 pin connection to the board and only this supply over here has it. So it needs to be a power supply from one of those early versions of the PS3. So we will now accommodate the board on top of the other one and try to do a connection of the power supply over here without shorting anything out. We will also need to use the little switch board. So I will use this cork base to put between the uh, metal and the board. I've used this paper to put on the bottom of the uh, power supply because this is metal so it doesn't short out any components just to that we have a red light and these here are the connection points feel free to zoom in uh, where we will be connecting our wires to our little reading board On those same points we will apply flux to add a bit of solder and then solder wires into these points so we can read the syscon. We will now solder the first wire.
this will then be the RX wire this will then be the TX wire And this will be the diagnose wire but this one eventually you will need it if we don't get a connection after the syscon has approved the authorization to log in So later in the evening I did not have time to finish this project during the day so I've connected the device and so you make note of this the ground needs to be put on the yellow plane of the board where the ground is and the RX on the board goes to the TX on the device and the TX goes on the RX on the device then you need to use this software that I will link below so you can get it yourselves if you want to do this and then you just need to press the authorize it's currently now grabbing codes I accidentally grabbed pressed the uh, get error codes button and it's grabbing errors so I'll just see what happens there but I believe nothing will do happen so we have now 20 codes And as you can see, the codes are all just jibber jabber, nothing special. So let's do the thing the correct way. We now here have an, a, sec, a successful authorization. I'll do it again for you to see. It will be blinking on the device. I'm not sure if we can see it on the camera. <coughs> It did a failed report response that's normal let's keep trying until we get a successful authorization still it may take a few tries until you get it working just make sure the ground is on ground and the RX is on the TX and the TX is on the RX here we got the authorization and we are grabbing the error codes with the authorization so we will now see what this console really has Unfortunately, this board has errors 3034 and 4421, which indicate the RSX is gone. So there's nothing I can do with this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave it a like and subscribe.